This farm, it was originally a farm, was started by John Mann uh, back in 1855. It was built in um, sort of Italianate style. They grew uh, the typical crops for that time. The buildings were just a residence and attached horse stable here and were used through about five different families through the, through the generations up until 1979 when Joe and Deirdre Garten came in here. My late husband Joe was a great cook and uh, he decided after getting his PhD in film history and criticism that he actually wanted to open a restaurant. And uh, at the same time, we had four kids. We were looking for a new house. Uh, we lived in a three bedroom. That wasn't gonna be enough. So he was also looking at houses. And he came across this place and the two, the two ideas kind of came together. And couldn't really do uh, the house here because the, the highway was too busy and all, but oh my gosh, would it make a wonderful restaurant and he was inspired by this beautiful place um, to create a restaurant that really reflected Wisconsin. He came from a large family, German heritage, English heritage, big Sunday dinners with the whole family, lots of wonderful cooking, and it was a very welcoming and warm environment that he grew up in, and he wanted to replicate that. It was pretty much an instant success, <laughs> yes. <laughs> At the time, you know, the experience of going out to dinner was primarily going out to a supper club. We're doing things that were more ethnic type of things and, and old fashioned, the way people cooked in their homes, etc. People just jumped right on board with that. They thought, oh, this is really different and new. We, uh, on our first menu, we had braised lamb shanks and Swedish meatballs. Uh, some great dishes like that and people were like, wow, this is, this is really something. And it really was pretty inexpensive as well. So it appealed to a wide, wide range of people. And it just, it just took off. When Joe and Deirdre came out here to look at the place, mm -hmm. my father was working for the architect who the Gartens hired to do the historic renovation. They were working with that and doing some of the initial design concepts, et cetera, and they weren't happy with the kitchen design and I was working at a different restaurant in the kitchen and my dad said uh, let me get my son to weigh in on this I'll give him the plans and so I came I kind of did my little thing and analyzed things in terms of flow and everything and, and uh, I came out and I met with Joe in the uh, dining room of the stone house over there and we just sort of hit it off and as I was uh, finishing up and walking out of there I just said to him I said you know this is such an exciting project I'd really like to be involved in it. And he looked at me and he said, you're hired. <laughs> As it turned out, by the time we opened, I was the uh, opening chef and, uh, you know, it was just kind of a couple years later, I was the general manager and then Joe and Deirdre decided, well, they needed somebody who was kind of locked in here. So they took me into as a partner in the operation and just kind of all has kind of played out. And here we are, here 38 we are. Yep. years later, still having fun. It's truly, truly a unique, uh, unique business here because there aren't many restaurants that have four and a half acres of grounds uh, that people can tour and relax in. Two different restaurants connected by an underground tunnel. One of the exciting things about, uh, about our location is that we can offer three different kinds of experiences for people. You can have a more sort of uh, fine dining experience in the house. You can have very casual eating here in the, in the stable. And then of course we have all kinds of um, events and outdoor fish fry in the summertime out in the paddock. Uh, and we've really tried very hard to enhance the grounds so we have beautiful gardens. It's really quite a beautiful spot. So we have lots of weddings and uh, corporate events and that sort of thing outside, which is pretty special. It's just different from what people think of as a, as a restaurant. And it's certainly a whole lot different than where most restaurants today are just situated in some strip mall and then they try and recreate an experience that reminds people of something. Well here, this is it. 
This is all about Wisconsin and it's all real. We uh, continue to focus in on heritage cuisine, the, uh, the types of things that the different ethnic settlers to Wisconsin ate and brought with them, uh, things that were you know, special to them, and uh, things that they could use the foodstuffs, the bountiful foodstuffs of Wisconsin. So wherever we can, we try and use those sort of locally sourced things, things that are important to Wisconsin, fresh dairy products, butters, creams, cheeses, et cetera, fresh produce, uh, only freshwater fish. We don't serve any seafood, just, just the local kind of fresh lake perch and, and whitefish and, and trout and things like that. So it's all, uh, all fits together with, you know, what the buildings were kind of in a time period as much as, as, much as we can. If you look back at our opening menu, <laughs> a lot of those recipes came from Joe's uh, grandma and mother, and I contributed my recipes, family recipes. You know, that's kind of the, how we've gone about doing things over the years and, and relied on things. I've, I've dug recipes out and, and we modify them to, uh, to, you know, kind of modern standards a bit, but uh, it's sort of that recreating those comfort food and dishes of the past that that people that really appeal to people because it connects them to the past and that's that's what feels comfortable as opposed to a lot of modern cuisine where people go oh that's interesting you know oh that's something but are they walking out of there going I can't wait to tell my Uncle Bob and bring him out here for dinner because he's going to love this. <laughs> we also have, uh, had, had all, have always stressed sourcing as much food as we could locally and using fresh ingredients wherever possible. And it not only, I mean, it applies not only to our food, but our beverage program. Just prior to our opening a couple of years, uh, Bob Wollersheim started the winery up in Sauk City and we endorsed his wines right from the get-go. Wollesheim wines have been on our menu since the very beginning, and to this day we are their biggest on-premise account. I can remember when Randy Sprecher started the Sprecher Brewery over in Milwaukee. Randy Sprecher used to drive over and deliver one half barrel of beer to <laughs> Quivy's Grove in his woody wagon and then drive back to Milwaukee just to get a start. When the uh, carries from New Glarus Brewing came to town, I sat down, talked with them for a while, and, uh, and I said, yeah, you know, it's ready. You guys are ready. I think, I think you're making the right choices. They lined up a distributor, and we've been you know, great fans with New Glarus Brewing ever since. And uh, so, you know, these things, because they were the right things to do at the time, and uh, it, it all has you know, paid off for everybody that has, has done that type of thing. Somebody who's never heard of Quibby's Grove, are there any people? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, we run into people all the time, and it, it does amaze me. I, I, uh, I ran into a guy a couple years ago who'd been driving the road out here for 30 years. And, and uh, he said, you know, I've always looked over there and wondered what that place was. And, and he was, finally took the leap and came in and sat down and had a beer and he went, wow, this place is great. I, never, I really wondered what was going on here. Joe Garten had told me right from the get-go, he said, we want this to look like you're inviting people into your own house. So everything, that's one of our standards. There's no logos, there's no, no beer signs, and it just feels like home. And that's what we promote with our employees as well. We have several employees who've uh, actually been with us for over 25 years. And, you know, it's very important to us. Um, this whole thing about family and, uh, and welcoming, it's not just our customers, but the way we treat our employees as well. And it's something that I'm, I'm very proud of. A lot of people are so surprised to hear how long people have actually worked here. It's a real testament to Craig and the kind of culture 
that we have here um, that people actually want to stay. We try and hire people that are friendly, outgoing, that want to make people feel comfortable and warm, and then we let them be themselves. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the old-fashioned hospitality that, uh, that, that we, we, we promote. It's about the guest. Everything is about the guest. Lots of places say that, but they're so busy promoting themselves, promoting the chef, promoting the food, promoting, you know, all this stuff, trying to be this when it really is just about the guest. Welcome to Leanna's. I'm Chef, Chef Dave, and I'm, whew, I get so nervous at these interviews. <laughs> <laughs>